Hey guys, Jackie Jean here, and I'm going to share with you a quick tutorial on how to do a double exposure in Photoshop. Check it out. Okay, so we're in Photoshop, and I got the two images that I'll be using to merge together to create that double exposure. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually select my subject. So we're going to go to our quick selection tool in our toolbar and select our subject. Once your subject is selected, then go to Select and Mask. And we're going to go to our Output Settings of New Layer with Layer Mask. Go ahead and select that and click OK. And let's go ahead and open up your Layers tab. And in order to do that too, if you don't have your Layers window open, you can go to Window up on the top menu and scroll down to Layers or click F7. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my layers. I'm going to create a new background. So we're going to go to layer, new fill layer, solid color. And I'm going to select white and we're going to move this right below that selected layer mask. So that way we have a new background. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab my image that I'm going to be adding for that double exposure effect. And let's go ahead and free transform to adjust the size of the image. And we're going to go to our blend mode on that layer and select screen. As you can see, we've got it right there. You kind of adjust it and play around with it where you want to set that double exposure image on. And now we're going to go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Gradient Map, and we're going to select a, and make it a black and white. Again, I'm going to move this image over just a little bit more. There we go. And I'm just going to add one more layer just for a little bit more contrast. So I'm going to go to my Layers and new adjustment layer and select curves. Click OK. I'm going to bring that midpoint down just a little bit and create some contrast. And there we go, before and after. Would you like to see more creative edits? Be sure to check out the link below.